Ikris Wupina and Crom had settled in their hidden den in the tip yard. Wupidu lived there and you eat anything that stumped her and sneak to a rubbish house to eat the rubbish. On this morning, the mobsters were to make a drive, understanding it was kilometers and we had to take petrol two times, hence the beetle was a small car. I hope we went driving from San Francisco dump it, Chris, but none of us ever went to visiting a quarry in this suburb called, um, Tala. It's a long way to drive to, being that we have to avoid the teeth of walking. We need to have a number of gas cans, or as people call them petrol cans, so not, not to mention you need to find someone to scare, said Crumb. I was looking in the piles for the cans and just pinched some petrol that's from a shed. There's none in the piles except the shed's got cans stored inside. Stacks of them. And completely clean too, said Icarus enthusiastically. Pastor said to me this morning he delivered some to it in case anyone on the run needs it. We are on the run because this bastard wilder said, um, Davenport gonna hunt us, which leads to one problem. The beetle we're driving is blue with candy on it. He's called Candlewell, and when we took him for drive, he said he could help us and not tell anyone because he doesn't want to get chased for life either said Crumb pointedly. That's good because I'm thinking when we come to a fur that can hunt us, we can duck under the windscreens and he can look ahead. So, Upeba. He's taken one of the petrol cans to we can start finding Tala, said Icarus. You two have to prove I can when I collect money, said Cadwell. Always a free ride, but it isn't when I've got my rubbish bag to let you put your rubbish in the pee. <laughs> Go on, ah. A monster tax ship is what we can have. Come on, let's start the drive, said the Chris. We got in Candlewell and left the tip, keeping their eyes peeled for the mob from Davenport. The who we didn't want it to follow them. To mark it, we was to because Kingston wouldn't want it to cause trouble, especially when things get through and unsuspecting people. Of course, and Andrews. But we had a deep suspicion that we would come by bus. It happened when we keep to the Derwent River, which would cause them to flee. When the key to who we stopped beside the petrol station to use the petrol cans 
to fill up his tank. There isn't any sign of the mob, huh? But I see a double-decker bus that's driving into this suburb. Is your tank full yet? Asked Nicholas. Filled to the brim. That was my second can. Quick, we'll leave before it crosses that bridge we cross, said Candlewell. I feel like scaring them, but that will not work, so let's see. Once again, we were leaving quietly to continue the drive. Come to be on the seaside, looked back to see the double decker bus if it crossed the bridgehead. The river and village were so far away and there wasn't any sign of the stalkers. Which is good because anyone had never driven a tall vehicle along the further to Hamilton to Queen's Tall. As it was a long journey, you had to stop somewhere in a bottom picnic park in the woodland and pipes creeping up a hill. Eat the rubbish, top them, see the energy, like I did on my night drive from Tala. People for one wanted to rest from the long drive, for she didn't want her body to be all of a slumber again since she read her book through the night. There's the bottom village we need to stop in, said she. And it's starting to get dark. It's surprisingly lucky for us the double-decker bus wasn't hunting us. It's up, but what's that monitor by the door? Oh, crumb. It's got a slot for cars. Is that what it's called, Candlewell? And the other one at the top is for the seated Bit hold. Ah, Chris. It's a self surf machine. I'll handle it, said Candwell. He stopped by the device, and the monster helped set up the pipe for more of the pumps. You do some instructions on what to do with it. As they set themselves in the car when Candwell was finished with his drink, you spotted a black pair of fingers, or rather claws. A figure jumped out at them before it turned into a human. The monsters were horrified. Meeting a kid was the worst thing they would do. Candwell took them to take it easy, as it was Ben Tanson, who had been on a mission. Where he was still, 
was what what happened. Um, do I have to sit with that pink guy? His smell reminds me of my sir that keeps the sweat, said Ben. Yes, who mind the smell? It doesn't disturb anyone much as long as who dog can sense it, said Lucas. If you want to finish what you're doing, you have to stay hidden like we are. We got a mob that's after Sue. So we took them to tell her just to mix her the dry sea. Ben suggested if we head back we can pick Candlewell pink so anyone would not recognize them. We can cope that as long as anyone doesn't see us so we arrived in Tala kilometers later and dropped off Ben at one of the cabins. Then we went climbing <coughs> up a hill towards a quarry. In Inside of them was a cave. Quickly we ducked inside to hide before Peachy Candlewell. It was already lit and we needed to find someone to scare. There was a puppet at the bottom that was perfect for them to lurk in it. However, we listened for the mob. Crumb went up to have a look. He creeped back, looking rapid. We better try scaring these guys first if we want to lock in that building. Hide the car and we'll get them to leave with making them think of not hunting us anymore, said he. Who we escape the brush of the mop hunt? <laughs>